good morning and welcome to you all today we'll take a look at a potential multi bagger of the future called ag's logistics limited which is a leading player in logistics of uh, oil gas and chemical industry <coughs> now its vision is to become the leading provider of logistics services to oil gas and chemical industry it aspires to be the leader in all these within a segments <coughs> with uh, excellent uh, customer service quality safety and environmental standards <coughs> now its management quality is reasonably good it's headed by raj chandaria as cmd and anish chandaria as vice chairman and managing director it's been in existence for quite some time and it has been growing very consistently and in the recent past has been growing very fast <coughs> very very fast really it has got two divisions basically one is a liquid division uh, in which it attempts third party liquid logistics and wandam services its revenues are in the shape of fees handling charges service charges and wandam fees so liquid division is the first one second one is the gas division here also third party gas logistics auto gas refilling packed lpg cylinders industrial gas distribution gas sourcing etc <coughs> here also the revenues are fees retail margin handling and other service charges <coughs> for gas sourcing and shipping to india it has got a partnership with uh, itochu in uh, 60 40 40 itochu 60 sages <coughs> it's a very wonderful partnership now <coughs> the gas logistics and distribution is done by ages after the gas sourcing and uh, shipping is done to india by uh, the partnership <coughs> there is a great demand supply gap especially for lpg in, in india consumption has been growing uh, very consistently 7 million uh, yeah, metric tons in fi 2001 and now 21.5 million metric tons in fi 2017 which is a growth of 207% imports have also been growing there is a great uh, uh, unsatisfied demand and imports have been growing from 8.5 lakh metric tons to 11 metric tons during the same period a cagr of 17% all incremental demand uh, which cannot be met by the local production is being met through imports so this uh, increasing lpg imports are requiring uh, terminal capacity which is being built by uh, ags logistics limited <coughs> so its joint venture with itosu is a uh, highly effective and efficient in uh, uh, shipping subsequent operations are taken by uh, ags logistics within india ags has got static lpg capacity which has increased from 25400 metric tons in fi 2016 to 28100 uh, in uh, fi 2017 and currently 63300 so a lot of expansion has been done through, during the last one year these capacities are built at mumbai pipawao and haldia <coughs> haldia is of course the latest <coughs> stat not only static capacity but the throughput capacity has also increased from 7.5 lakh to 1.3 million to 5 million tons in 2017 18 again the last year expansion was excellent and here also haldia is the latest and growing fastest <coughs> now there is a pipeline connectivity passing through haldia from durgapur to paradi passing through haldia ages has a uh, has signed a 20 year mou with a large psu as an anchor customer <coughs> wonderful arrangement at the current uh, market throughput rates now all the projects which have been completed have been done through internal accruals no debt 
project uh, most projects were completed in q3 of fi18 ages uh, has uh, done some debottlenecking of uh, lpg terminals already available at mumbai again with internal uh, uh, approvals again completed in q3 of fi1718 here also there is an lpg pipeline running from uran shakripur and passing through mumbai again a brownfield brownfield expansion existing one expanding at pipawa was also completed in q3 fi1718 market many things were completed in q3 of fi18 they are to be utilized in future lpg handled here is expected to go grow in the coming uh, quarters <coughs> ages has an expanding auto gas retailing network of 108 auto gas stations you could have seen many places auto gas stations across seven states this is uh, b2c business to compu- uh, customer <coughs> bulk distribution of gas is dra- done through road tankers to industries that is b2b business to business commercial lpg distribution is also done to hotels etc in packed cylinders through 109 distributors in 45 cities in eight states so capacity expansion is adding exist to existing and new customer relationships to sustain the business liquid traffic is handled at mumbai kochi haldia kandla and mangalore ports western ports and the traffic is going on the western uh, ports in a very healthy manner now it is expanding greenfield liquid terminal at kandla and mangalore kandla has been completed again uh, in fi18 mangalore will be completed in h1 first half year of current year another brownfield liquid terminal expansion is on at haldia it is expected to be completed in the first half year of uh, fi1819 uh, the total capacity post all these expansions at uh, kandla and haldia will be 689000 kiloliters <coughs> so ages has become a leading provider of uh, logistics and supply chain services to india's oil gas and chemical industry with uh, port locations st- uh, storage terminals rail connectivity pipelines tankers and so on excellent infrastructure for both like liquid division and gas division <coughs> integrated supply chain management is aiming for that <coughs> and it has uh, built up a huge uh, connectivity with the industry partners like uh, bharat petroleum hindustan petroleum shell reliance sr steel shiv gas tata steel indian oil uh mahindra hindustan unilever bajaj electrical volvo line mrpl piagu and so on <coughs> all industry leaders now let us look at the financials in fi18 uh over the past year revenue has grown 22% ebitda has grown 24% profit after tax has also grown by 57% in one year it has recommended a, a, a <coughs> dividend of uh, 75% that is 75 paise for every 1 rupee face value now if you look at uh, the q4 latest q4 performance the revenue has been stagnant over the uh, last year uh, revenue 1252 uh, crores but profit has increased by 83% significantly uh, 55 crores from 30 crores now price growth in one year market price growth has been 29% which is not very significant but with all these expansions it is likely to uh, the price growth ha- is likely to be much more in the current year the price earning ratio at present is 42% but uh, ags has always been having a premium price earning ratio and if it continues also next year it could be the price uh, growth could be very significant <coughs> the volume of transactions on the exchange is good and uh, you can expect buying buyability and sellability on the uh, exchange is quite good so will it be a potential multi bagger huge expansions have taken place during the last year and they are to be utilized in the coming uh, years therefore as and when the capacity utilization grows the ages logistics will be uh, growing at a very great rate 
and uh, if the profitability stays at the current levels which is quite likely it could prove to be a potential multi bag so examine further at your end and take your decisions and uh, i wish you all the best of luck and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel this uh, age, uh, apart from ags logistics i will come before you with many more such potential multi bagger for the future thank you